everybody, Pinch Al here, and we're going to do a Mark 6 steering wheel swap. I'm going to show you how to remove the Mark 4 one first, the factory one. But first things you're going to need to do is remove the battery, press on the brakes a couple times. That way it depresses the, um, or discharges the system and the airbag on the car. Then with the key in the ignition, turn your wheel 90 degrees like this. And then you're going to need a flathead screwdriver. You'll see this little hole right here where my finger is at. You see that? You're going to need to put a screwdriver in there and you're going to need to wiggle a little bit and I'll show you what to do in just a minute. So with the flathead screwdriver, I'm going to use my little tiny one. Broken one too. You're going to go in like this and then you're going to pry down like that, okay? Um, it's going to be kind of hard. There's a little lever that's in there push down here you'll feel it push back on you that means you're doing it right and then while you're holding it up you're gonna pry this forward you see that that means you got the bag off now we're gonna do the other side you got half of it done already you're gonna turn this over and now we'll do the same process fly a screwdriver and you gotta feel for that little lever once you feel it, you can pull back on the bag. Hey, babe, can you hold that for me, please? And you should feel a little something in there. So now I got that little lever. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. Can you hold that for me, please? Right there, no, right there. So you'll see here, this is what you're trying to pry on right here this little lever. And you got to get it right on the edge. Because you push it down, and that's how you get the bag out. Same on the other side. So now the next thing we need to do is uh, get an M10 triple square to get the bolt out that holds the steering wheel in place. Actually, I'm sorry, i got to correct myself. It's an M12 triple square. So just lock the steering wheel, take the key out of the ignition and lock it. That way you can get it out. It doesn't go on very tight, guys, so it's pretty easy to take off. Now... By keeping close attention, um, with your little flathead, if you come down here closer, you're gonna need to pull this little sensor, this little wire out. This is for the horn. That's how you ground it out. If it won't let you, we'll see if we can get it all out. Yeah, because it has to come out too. Let's see here. And just wiggle it back and forth, just like that. That's the Mark IV steering wheel removal. Now for your Mark VI uh, wheel, you are going to need to salvage this because this is what you need to uh, wire it up to the Mark IV again. Okay? So, pay close attention. You're going to have to save these wires. So now, with the wheel off, and you got your new Mark VI wheel, um, if you see here, there's, an, there's a little line here down the middle. It's hard to see, but it's right there. This is telling you this is the center of the wheel. If you look on the same uh, stem here, it has one here too. That is the center where it's supposed to go. So we now need to um, center the wheel there. All mark um, uh, three, all the way to mark seven steering wheels, all fit on. On our Mark IV cars, so if you want to run an old school wheel, go for it. If you want to new, run a new one, you can too. That's the really cool thing about our cars; they have all the same posts, so it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to wire it up, 
because I just noticed I forgot that my wheel was uh, kind of ripped. They kind of tore the uh, wiring inside here, so I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, it's not my concern to have an airbag or a horn. I'm going to have to make my own horn later. But just to mount it, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, line up the two lines on here and here, and then reverse the process on the install. And you got it. You got a Mark VI wheel installed. Pretty, pretty easy. Thanks. And, you know, uh, make sure you all you need is a flathead screwdriver, an M12 triple square, and some patience, and then you can do it. Thanks for watching again. Uh, Pinchao's Garage with Carlene, my wife. Peace.